Hey everyone, my name is Patrick. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since I've posted, but I am back in better than ever, like always. But Starbucks actually just released a new drink for the summertime, and um, if Starbucks releases a new drink, I obviously have to recreate it. And this one is actually one of the easiest recipes that you can do right in the comfort of your own home. It does not require like super fancy ingredients. Everything you can pretty easily find at a store. I don't know why I have this but it is the perfect summer drink. So today we are going to be recreating the Starbucks Paradise drink at home. It is so easy. Let me go get the like app so I can see like how Starbucks describes it. So then you can kind of get a vibe for what drink we are making. So this is in the Starbucks refreshers line. So you can either just get it like just the refresher or you can make it a paradise drink and replace the water for the coconut milk. That's literally how you make every drink just like that much better so I would always recommend getting the coconut milk instead of just like plain water because it's just like too plain that way and we don't want that. Okay, so Starbucks describes it as tropical flavors of pineapple and passion fruit combined with diced pineapple and creamy coconut milk to create a delicious island escape. So that's kind of the flavor profile that we're working with. It's pineapple, passion fruit, um, more pineapple and coconut milk that all sounds amazing i like can't eat fresh pineapple because like my tongue like tingles too much so i hope this won't like trigger a reaction um we are kind of like testing the waters but we're hoping for the best but i will pop a picture of what it looks like at starbucks it looks so pretty the color is so pretty and like i said it's the perfect summer drink they're giving us pineapple they're giving us fruit it's just going to refresh our day it's just going to make our day that much better and cool us down from the summer heat. We've been in a heat wave for a hot minute now and I'm ready for the heat to wave its way away. It's like too much. Let me show you what you will need to make this drink. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to pick up from the store is this Tropicana Pineapple Mango Splash. Now, the Paradise Drink at Starbucks is not advertised as having mango in it, but this is really the closest you're going to get this has the pineapple in it and this has the passion fruit juice in it so it kind of has all of those flavors already in this simple ready-made drink plus is mango ever a bad thing I like love mango so the fact that we get to kind of add this into our at-home recipe is even better in my world so love that even though this is from Tropicana this is not like an orange juice like it truly is just like pineapple mango passion fruit and I think like maybe a little bit of a lime but this is the perfect dupe for the pineapple refresher juice that they use at Starbucks so if you're making this as a refresher just use this maybe add like a little bit of water to it but you are pretty much like good to go if you want to make the paradise drink you're going to need coconut milk now coconut milk does come in a lot of different ways they have coconut milk in a can they have coconut milk like at room temperature in a carton but what you're going to want to get for this recipe is coconut milk that's kind of in the refrigerated section. Even though all of these different things are technically like coconut milk, they are very different and in order for your drink to taste and look like the one from Starbucks, you're going to want to go ahead and get this kind of coconut milk. This is from the brand So Delicious. It's organic, it's unsweetened. This juice already has a lot of sweetener and sugar added to it, so we do not want to add any more sugar in our coconut milk. That would be like almost too sweet, if that's even a thing. But this has like no additional flavoring or sweetener. It's just plain organic coconut milk. This is the best coconut milk, in my opinion, like readily available to everyone, so I highly recommend getting this. And then start Starbucks does add like diced freeze dried pineapple to the drink and the closest thing that I could find to kind of recreate that at home are these unsweetened dried pineapple rings that I got from Target. A lot of dried pineapple out there is like coated in sugar and that's not the vibe that we're going for. So this is unsweetened, it's organic, we love that. And even though this is in a ring form, I'm just gonna like kind of break it into 
to pieces. And that is pretty much it. All you need are these three ingredients and ice. I don't know if you count ice as an ingredient, but you will need that. So I'm going to assemble this drink in like a blender bottle that has like a little shaker lid. This is the best way to do it. At Starbucks, if you were getting like a refresher based drink, so that's a violet drink, a pink drink, a star drink, or this new paradise drink, they're going to shake it in a thing like this and it does make a difference. So just go ahead and get something like this. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to add into our blender bottle is three quarters of a cup of the pineapple mango lash. And then the next thing that we are going to add is a cup of the coconut milk. This is one of the drinks that I will say you can't really substitute the milk for. Like you can't use soy milk, almond milk. Well, you can, but it will change the drink drastically. There's a reason why the Starbucks refreshers are almost almost always paired with coconut milk. It's just the best flavor. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It kind of just blends with the fruit flavors perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna add the coconut milk. And then the next thing that we're going to add in is our dried pineapple. Oh my gosh, these look so cool. They almost look like apple chips, but they're like, Pineapple. So I'm just gonna take like two little ring things and break them up into pieces. This way we can get them throughout our drink. It will look so pretty, it will look so cute. And this isn't like a crucial ingredient in this recipe, but it does make it look a lot better. You can definitely make this drink without it, but don't. So now I'm just going to add ice to this blender bottle and we can get to shaking this up. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the lid on the blender bottle. We have our ice in here. We have all of our ingredients in here. Let's give this a good shake. Perfect. So this is all shaken up and ready to go. I'm just going to pour it into my signature clear Starbucks tumbler to just make it look like I got it from Starbucks. This is how you trick everyone and just look cute. And the measurements I used in this recipe are for one venti drink, but if you want to make like two grande drinks or like one grande drink, kind of just adjust the amount a little bit. Okay, so this is our final finished drink. Does it not look like so good? It looks so summery. It looks like so refreshing. Um, I'm like in love. It looks pretty close to the Starbucks original. So let's see how it tastes. You're getting all of like that refreshing pineapple tropical flavor. We love the passion fruit, we love the mango, and all that is in that one drink. Like we didn't have to like combine a lot of things, it's just kind of all there. We love a go-to drink. But then we get that refreshing creamy coconut milk. It is the perfect pairing coconut and pineapple. Obviously, they go so well together, so it just works in this drink. It is the perfect summer drink. I am so glad I was able to crack this recipe. Again, I will have everything listed down below so you all can make it at home as well. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!